we go. There is no such thing as a temporary save. Well, that's strange. I know there is a monster that's supposed to break down the door. But didn't. That wasn't there before. Looks like some dude's chest. That's creepy. Let's see. Slight headache. on that right there. And more memories. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Okay. Looks like we'll be going way down after I fix it. It's not. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his curiosity. Well, very nicely lit. So what's in here? Oh, here we go. Water pressure. Just pressure. Let's see, eight up, eight down, four, one, three. Says
stuck with my slight headache. There are only two spare molds left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Okay. So, that's how we know where to get these. Um, flow cycle. Trinity. Four phase amplitude. explain that one for anyone there, or for anyone who has not figured it out already, because, well, spoilers, if anyone gets that, well, it's not that obscure, is it? July 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant text. Professor Taylor of the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orb. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trait they had left in our culture. The mythic orb may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Yes, it's all your fault. But... I had an interesting thought while... that was being read. And that thought is, why do they call them textbooks? It's not like, well, there's a lot of text in them, yeah, but that's most books, isn't it? Unless it's a picture book, it's a whole bunch of text. The burner needs more coal. some gears. There was one in that corner. Oh. Uh, oh. Here's something I missed. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others from a baron in Prussia. 
He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenberg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares and to a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound of defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Okay. Nightmares are never good. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And for all the things I know about this, I still can't find the stupid gears. With the exception of that one, anyway. Control when I need to hit shift. There's one. This room. Ah, here we go. And one working elevator. Strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. someone and down we go 